Hello zoologists of all shapes and sizes, my name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook and thank you so much for tuning into the 58th episode of our beast series. Today we have a particularly creepy crawly beast in store for us today and soon to be one of my favorite methods of railroading or at the very least making aggressive plot hooks. Today we're going to be taking a look at the giant centipede and it is found in the basic rules and is considered to be a CR one quarter monster and I would 100% agree with that actually. I think it really does belong in this tier. And as a direct result it nets you 50 experience points on a kill. Now let's take a quick look at the stats on the giant centipede here. So the giant centipede is considered to be a small beast that is unaligned, so it's about the size of a halfling, which is pretty terrifying. Uh, AC of 13, only 4 hit points though, calculated by rolling 1d6 and adding 1, and it has 30 foot of normal movement and an additional 30 feet of climb speed, very cool stuff. Taking a look at its stats now, you'll see it's actually quite dexterous, clocking in at a plus 2 and a plus 1 to con, but outside of that you'll see negatives all across the board. Taking a look at its senses, it has 30 feet of blind sight, which is awesome, and a passive perception of 8, which is not so awesome, but still very cool nonetheless. So taking a look at this stat block here, you'll notice that it doesn't really compare with a lot of the other CR1 quarters. But we're not quite done yet. Let's take a look at its actions now. So the giant centipede can actually only do one action and that is a melee weapon attack. It is plus four to hit, reach of five feet, one creature can be targeted and deals four piercing damage on a hit. However, the amazing part is the second part. The target must succeed on a DC 11 constitution saving throw or take 10 poison damage or 3d6 poison damage. If the poison damage reduces the target to zero, the target is stable but poisoned for one hour, even after regaining hit points and is paralyzed while poisoned in this way. I think this is an incredible creature. My goodness, I'm imagining a party running into um, a hooded figure in an alley somewhere or uh, in some enclosed environment and the hooded figure says, listen, I need your help right now. And the party's like, well, I really don't want to. And then the hooded figure's like, listen, you don't have a choice. And then giant centipedes like flood out of his cloak. I think that would be hilariously evil. And it, with that paralyzed condition, it is a very nasty condition. It's the same condition that hold person provides. So a creature is incapacitated, can't move or speak, automatically fails any strength or dexterity saving throws, attack rolls against them have advantage, and any attack that is, the creature is hit by is considered to be a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet. So it is just a nasty condition to be inflicted with. I would make an argument that given a high enough nature check or something along those lines, maybe a medicine check, who knows, um, you would be able to harvest this poison, but that's kind of up for your DM to decide. Personally, I'd probably allow it, but um, kind of depends on the person in question themselves. That being said, let me know how you would use a giant centipede in your game down beneath in the comment section. Also, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding them. I really hope you guys do have a great day, and as always, happy researching.